Hi there, Tracy here from Kazadan's Equestrian. Welcome to 2020. This year, let's start the year off well and plan for our horse's health. Okay, this year at the beginning of the year, I thought it'd be a great idea to work through how to look at horses preventative health on your calendar and actually plan it through the year. So you don't get to next year going, oh, that's right, I meant to and not done it again. So let's have a look at a good way to go about doing that. So the first thing I think you need to do is just grab a scrap bit of paper now and have a think about all the tasks for health that you might need to do with your horse. And then list, are they yearly? Are they weekly? Are they monthly? Are they twice a week? Are they twice a year? So some of the things that I think are very important that we need to make sure we include in our calendar are vaccinations, worming or faecal egg counts. We need to include the dentist. We need to include our hoof care. We also need to include regular times where we check all of our horse's normal health parameters. This is really important because unless you know your horse is normal or you're used to taking your horse's parameters, when an emergency arises or a health issue, you simply won't know how to go about it or what your horse's normal is. Some of the other things that you might like to plan for is um, bot fly season or, or any kind of particular parasites or bugs or things that happen on a seasonal basis that you wanna put into this calendar. So if you need to, press pause now, grab your little bit of paper and write down all of those chores that you think you might need to do with respect to your horse's health. Okay, I'm assuming now you've got your list at hand. The next thing that I do is put together a document that is just a monthly calendar. This has just got the headings of the month in it. It's that simple. And then what you need to do is refer back to your list and jot down the monthly tasks, write it in each one. If it's once a year, pick a month and put it in. Quite often the beginning of the season, for example, is a good time to log in your faecal egg counts or, or worming or checks, beginning or end of the month. So it gets to the point where it's really clear in your head. So jot all those down in your monthly calendar. Once you've finished that, you're gonna have a, a calendar that looks something like this. So I've got here, in every month I've got check, all of my horse's normal health parameters. I do faecal egg counts the first day of a new season. So after summer, the first day of autumn is when I will do a faecal egg count or schedule it in around that time. Of course, if the faecal egg count comes back as normal, then I may not even need to worm. But the reason I do it in this cycle is because regardless, I will always worm at the end of spring, the beginning of summer, and then most of the time at the end of autumn as well. Because we do need to bear in mind that even if you do a faecal egg count really regularly and it comes back as zero, we're only testing for one species of worm. So you do need to worm your horse at least once a year, sometimes twice, if you need any more information on that, go over and have a check of my worming video. So once you've got your calendar looking like this, you can do one of two things. Either a whiteboard in the tack room is a great way so that you're actually able to physically tick off that you've done these monthly tasks or done these at the appropriate time throughout the year. Of course, another way is to just open up your calendar and pick a day and trans use that yearly one as a template every year. And every time you get your new diary or you're starting to log things in next year into your electronic diary, you pick a day and actually put those health tasks in, add an alert, a reminder, whatever you need to do, invite other people if you're adjusting horses, 
so that these health tasks that really need to be done regularly are not missed. The next thing I strongly encourage you to do is pop over to my website. If you haven't been there before, www.kazadansequestrian.com. As you're scrolling through that website, a pop-up will appear for you to fill out your email address and I will supply you some pages for a horse health diary. Because once we take our horse's normal parameters and we have the dentist and we've conducted the worming or the egg counts, we really need to record it. So I keep something like this around with all of my horse's names on it. This one in particular is for Saxon. And what I'm going to do for this year, this is my next year's one, a page where I will record every time I check his normal health parameters. So handy if you need a vet visit. I'll record hoof care, notes, trims, new dates, and maybe things that your trimmer or farrier has told you to do with the horse's feet. Worming and egg counts, again here and then when it's needed next, which is really important. I've also got dentist and vaccination sheets. So hop on over, download this if you haven't. If not, make your own up and keep this in your tack room and make sure you record everything you need about your horse's preventative health care. So my horse health goals this year are to keep going with my preventative health care plan and that's what I do. I feel that if you're on top of that preventative health care plan, you reduce the risk of any abnormal veterinary events happening. You also, if they do happen, increase the chance of being able to catch them early and giving your vet great information. This year, of course, I'm going to record all of the time, not just some of the time and when I remember. So that's my goal. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get help on some of them carrying out some of these preventative tasks. Um, like the video and I'll speak to you next week.